Hey everyone, Coach Tanya here. So now we have our Team Z completely ready, organized, and let's get to work. So first thing you're gonna do obviously is go to your Team Z account and log in. And then what I want you to do is I want you to click to the left where it says dashboard. This is what you're gonna see every day and you want to see it starting on zeros. You don't want anything left behind. You wanna make sure each day right here in the percentage that it says 100%. Another thing that I love about Team Z is right here where it says the dailies. You want to make sure you get your social posts done, make sure you do your personal development, make sure you have your shake, and make sure you do your workout. Um, so that will show you for each and every day. If you scroll down to the bottom, you can view your activities. Um, obviously, I go down on Sundays because Sunday, I don't do tons of work on Team Z. Um, I try to do that one day where it is family day. So in the morning, I do a few things and answer a few messages with people. Um, so I don't do tons of work. Um, but you will see that I work on Saturdays um, and I just throughout the rest of the week, I'm always up there and get it all done. Sundays, I usually don't go into my Team Z. Um, I do do some work, but like I said, I don't go into my Team Z. So you can look and see and see how well you are doing um, on your activities. But let's get started and let me show you how to use Team Z. So if you are in dashboard mode, if you go down here where it says who's up, who's up next, you want to start with your prospects, okay? Prospects are the people that obviously they have not purchased anything, they are not a customer. Um, it could be somebody in one of your free groups, it could be somebody you're just building a relationship with, okay? So my first prospect that's up is um, Sarah. So I can look on my activity to see like what we've chatted about, um, obviously, I've chatted more, but this is just the last conversation we had. I can look under details. I can look under notes. So if I put a note that, you know, this person's pregnant or um, she looking for a new job first or anything that they tell me or anything you might want to know, mother of two, single mom, like anything to remind you of, about that person. So, you know, because we talk to these people for a long period of time and we don't want to forget, you know, the important things about them. Do they have children? Are they married? Where do they live? That kinds of thing. Um, and obviously your customers will have a little bit more under the details because you'll have their phone number, you'll have their address and things of that nature. Um, so we're gonna keep it under connect. So I also have my Facebook here. You always wanna have your Facebook opened. But what I wanna show you is when I'm working Teamsy, I do not keep it on this screen of the newsfeed. What I keep it on is I go into my messages, I click see all. I work out of here. The reason that I work out of here is because I don't get sidetracked and I stay focused on sending my messages because that's what I'm working on right now in Team Z. So it helps keep me focused. If you go into the other one, everything starts popping up and if somebody responds back, it pops up at the bottom and then you want to answer and then you get sidetracked as to what task you are on. So I highly recommend going into your messages, doing see all, and then putting your cursor in the search bar. Now I know my first person is Sarah. So I'm going to type in her name so it finds me and her conversation. So here is me and Sarah's conversation. As you can see, I haven't really heard back from her much. Um, so. I might go to her wall and write something. Um, I know that she was going through a lot of things. So, um, or I can just go into Teamsy, which I want to show you. And if you look over here for scripts, Teamsy has scripts to help us. So, um, I could look like, obviously I'm messaging her on Facebook, but if I wanted to send her an Instagram message or I wanted to send a Snapchat or a phone call or a greeting card or anything, it gives us script ideas to really help us with our business. So I'm gonna go under Facebook here. Um, I could send her this one. Um, I could send this one. So you cross my Facebook feed, thought I'd say hello, how are you, hope your day is awesome. Like it gives us tons of things, just checking in like I promised I would, what questions do you have for me? That's great for a follow-up of somebody that you might have been talking to them about a program and um, you wanna follow up with them. You know, here's a great one, I'm excited about your goals we discussed, can't wait to get you started, things like that. So if it's somebody that you talked about goals and then you got back to them and you haven't heard back from them, that's a great follow-up. I'm gonna send this one. So you just copy it. Let's get out of here. So I can get back to my Facebook. And I'm gonna paste it right like this. 
but I'd like to say, hey girl, that's more my combo. Um, haven't heard from you in a while. I hope all is well. Okay, so now I'm gonna copy that entire message. If my computer would work with me, there we go. And I'm gonna go into my Teamsy and I'm gonna put that message. So you go down and put whether it was a Facebook message, an email, um, text message, however you communicated. Okay, now here, when I was talking to you earlier about how you can set a follow-up. So for her, if it's somebody that I'm building a relationship with, I would probably follow up in a week or two weeks to start building that relationship, where if maybe they didn't message me with me saying thank you for my friend request, I would go on their wall and things like that. For her, I am not gonna put a follow-up because I have her at a five because this is something she wanted to do. She just has some hardship with her daughter. Um, so I know this is something that she wants to do. So I wanna keep her at a five so I make sure I talk to her once a month. But I'm gonna go ahead and log that. So then you click down here and do log connect. And there you go, it is logged. Now if you look up here, so I've talked to one prospect and I have 39 left because I set it for 40. So it will keep track of your day. So 2% done, woohoo! Okay, so that is how I utilize Team Z. Um, now, if you look over here, here are follow-ups. These follow-ups are the people that you have set up a follow-up date for. So if you click what I do and how I use Team Z, I go through my prospects first. I basically go across my dashboard. Obviously, I don't have to go over here for the invites because when I invite people, it's there. I will actually invite the next prospect to um, my free challenge group, which I need to just go into my Google Docs real quick and get the verbiage. So I'll actually show you how I keep my Google Docs organized as well. Um, so you can see how to invite someone and how to log the invite. Um, but you know, I do all my prospects first, then I go through my customers, and then I go through my follow-ups. I don't really have to worry about going into my coaches because once I have a combo with one of my coaches, it automatically goes in there. So let me go into my Google Docs really quick because I made an invite for my free group that I have going on. And I have everything in here, invites, challenge group posts. It's really good to keep um, a Google Docs going. So then that way, um, you know, you can kind of reutilize some verbiage, change it around. Um, I'm trying to find that one. Um, let me see. I thought I had, oh, I think this is it. Might not be. Nope, that's not the one. Sorry, guys. Give me a second. Let me find it. I just want to do an invite so I can show you guys. Um, oh, no, that's not it. Is that it? No. Um, and I have it organized to where it's invites. Okay, I think this one is it. This is the one that I did for my chat. Yes, because it's starting Monday. Okay, so I have my invite here. So I'm just going to copy it so I can utilize it. All right, so let's go back to Teamsy here. And let's do, I'm going to invite Mandy. So I'm going to go to my Facebook. And I'm going to type in Mandy which she actually should have gotten married. So I'll write that at the beginning. Hey girl, how was the wedding? I wanna put how was the wedding here, X. Let's put it in here, okay? So I am inviting her to my next group that's starting Monday. So now I wanna copy all of that. I want to go into Teamsy. I want to paste it. I'm going to select that that was a Facebook message. And right here where it says invite, you want to click invite and you want to select the type. So you can select whether you invited them to a free group, a challenge group, or the business opportunity. So I'm going to put free group. She's already a five, so I don't need to worry about setting up a follow-up date. And I'm going to click log connect. That is how I utilize um, my Teamsy account. So that is how I do my power hour of my invites and my follow-ups and my 
making new conversations and making new relationships and building relationships utilizing my Teams e account. So I hope that this video helped you guys get everything going. Um, I will be doing some other videos on how you can keep track of your business on here under the business tabs and things of that nature. So I hope that this helped you and I hope you guys rock your business using Teamsy. Bye.